The winding up of the body during the backswing is a great source of our power. In fact, if we don't wind up in the backswing, we end up just hitting the golfer with our hands and the arms, and that's going to be a very difficult shot to hit a long way. So as I address the golf ball, if my backswing was hands and arms, it's not really going to go very far. So I really want to feel that in the backswing, I'm creating some power, and that's the upper body turning towards the right side here, creating that wind up. And you can see with the club here, I've created a 90 degree shoulder rotation, which results in a 45 degree hip rotation in the backswing. It's then all about how I unwind through those hips in the downswing to generate power. Again, if I've wound up this way, start here and then go with the hands and the arms, there's nothing doing, there's no power. Consider a lot how you would use your hips to generate power in lots and lots of other sports, be that from tennis or throwing a ball or even just skimming a stone. If I was to take a stone and go and skim it across the pond, I would immediately feel like my hips are my source of power. I wouldn't skim a stone by using my hand and my arm. I would use my hips to generate the power and then I would release the stone from my hand and arm, but the power comes from the hips. So the same process happens here. We're gonna wind up with the upper body. We're gonna create the power from the upper body, but then it's all about how I move off my right side towards my left side as a right-handed golfer. I'm gonna start the initiation by pressing down on that right instep. That's gonna let my hips transition across. The belt buckle will then start to open and I'll feel like I'll actually hit the golf ball here with my hips a good way open to target. I think a lot of golfers feel like they actually need to return back to setup. So setup is here impact being here it's not efficient it might feel good because you're just coming back to the start position but actually that should be set up that should be impact you should have that real strong opening of those hips to generate the power now we know we're talking about hitting into a firm lead side on some previous drills so we want to be in this impact position where we've opened the hips up and turned but we're into a firm lead side we're not collapsing into there because again there's no hip rotation there that slide we want to rotate into that firm left side so let's make sure that in the back swing we have a little bit of hip winding up and then the downswing, we have a lot of hip release as we turn into our lead side and we generate massive power utilizing that hip rotation.